So I came to Retina Associates about 17, actually it's gonna be 18 years ago. Very interesting how we used to find practices back then. Of course, you could go to the Academy website and look for job openings. You could go to ASRS website and look for job openings. But really it was our my mentors. They knew I had an interest in coming back to this area. Retina Associates of Kentucky offers um, a pretty unique opportunity for, for practicing medicine that you don't find in many places, which is initially what kind of drew me to it. Surrounded by peers that are excellent in what they do, they, they practice great medicine, they take good care of patients. Coupled with the fellowship and working with UK, there aren't very many places that, that offer this kind of privademic hybrid model sort of thing. And, and I think that that provides a lot of meaning to the practice in, in a wonderful uh, uh, area that, that also affords a really great quality of life. There's a tremendous need for more healthcare providers, and uh, we're seeing that the the volume and the need is is, is growing exponentially. And uh, there's uh, so much opportunity for especially a, a, a young retina specialist or young ophthalmologist to uh, to come to Kentucky to to practice and and um, and fill a, a huge need. Been here, I guess, seven to eight years or so, and it's a lovely community. It's a really warm and inviting place to practice medicine. The patients are so genuine and, and caring and uh, there's a real sense of community in the medical field here and there's certainly an amazing sense of community uh, with my partners. So we have been actively training fellows for, um, I don't know the year, I think 20 or 30 years. So it's, it's just part of our DNA and that also makes it um, a fun place to work and it's part of of our mission actually to uh, continue to train excellent retina surgeons. Some of the things that I love so much about academic medicine, the ability to do research, the ability to train fellows, the ability to do really interesting and complicated cases, you can have all that, but with the autonomy of being in a private practice. Having somebody like Eye Care Partners as our partner going forward gives us a lot more independence, really. To be able to, to do the things that we want to do in the scope of that larger organization. And I'll never forget when I first came here and interviewed our founder, William Wood, said, listen, the thing that's great about this practice is you can make it anything you want it to be. And uh, I aspired to give talks, to, to have a presence, you know, at meetings nationally and then eventually internationally. And it afforded me that. And I think it still affords that for people. The most important thing when you look to join a practice is the culture of the practice. And you can get a true sense of the culture of the practice by the people in the practice. Are they happy? Are they excited about what they're doing? Are they really motivated to deliver high quality care to their patients? Are they excited to interact with their peers and their staff members? And it's really impossible to hide the culture of an entity. And I'm really proud of the culture that we have at iCare Partners. So this is really an organization that is run by the doctors. And that's what makes it so nimble and mobile and makes it really kind of so much fun. Yet at the same time, we still have all the autonomy of being our small group. So when you come here, I like to tell people, listen, when you come, you're joining us and we have a partnership with ECP and that partnership's working out. And that's a really powerful thing.